Today we will discuss about how the cancer, how the cell polarity affect the cancer initiation. And cancer initiation is the uh, first step. As from the word initiation, uh, we can understand that it is the first step or the first mutations uh, where the onset of the cancer begins. And if the cell polarities are in line that favors cancer's uh, progression, then Cancer will, uh, cancer will progress faster and if the cell polarities are uh, not in favor of cancer's progression then uh, cancer's uh, then the tumor formations will be slowed down and that we will cover in this uh, figure so we will start with this pro oncogenic mutations or the oncogenic mutations occurs and they, uh, these oncogenic mutations can lead to uh, two different conditions. First, the cells in which these oncogenic mutations occurs uh, are in cell polarity that will form uh, this mitotic complex are in uh, line with the other cells. And in this case, the, the planar division begins. And after some times, uh, since the planar division is going on, there is no extra layering is formed and the cells will continue to expand on the same layer. And because of that, when the uh, so these uh, cells get overcrowded the, because the oncogenic uh, proper, one of the oncogenic properties is the uncontrolled growth rate. So the epithelial homeostasis will come into play and starts to rescue or prevent this uh, overcrowding. And because of that, it will uh, reduce the number of tumor cells that are present at these conditions and that will cause the delayed tumor initiation. However, in the other case, where this mitotic uh, complex is not in uh, line with the is not in line with the other cells this will lead to the out of the plane uh, division the cells will continue to grow uh, in out of the planes that will lead to the multi layering and this multi layering since in this multi layering there is no epithelial homeostasis rescue occur it will cause this faster tumor initiations and this type of uh, this time this type of cell polarity alterations as observed in this skin uh, skin pap uh, papilloma or prostate neoplasia so and uh, in, in other case uh, what will happen is that uh, cell polarity alterations uh, in this case the Uh, what will happen? It, it, this, this thing is similar uh, to the second case. However, uh, in that case, uh, however, in this case, uh, there is an epithelial homeostasis rescue. And this epithelial homeostasis rescue, what it will does is it will reduce the amount of this uh, pro oncogenic. Uh, it will reduce the. In this case, the oncogenic mutations are not occurred in this case. In at this stage, uh, and because of that, the healthy cells. Uh, are uh, continues to grow because of the out of the plane uh, division and this out of the place division will cause this overcrowdness uh, at this uh, at this place and that will and and there this epithelial homeostasis will come into play it will rescue and remove this uh, out of the plane cells however because of the overcrowding that will lead to this pro oncogenic mutations here and once these pro oncogenic mutations are initiated, then it will grow, cells will uh, grow faster and it will cause this uh, tumor initiation. The difference between the second uh, condition and third condition is that the oncogenic mutations has occurred at this stage in the third condition, whereas in the second condition, oncogenic mutations have occurred at this stage. So this is about the altered planar cell division. Next, uh, this altered cell fate. So in this case, the oncogenic mutations when occurred, then it will has this different polarity. Uh, one side of the uh, polarity favors differentiating factor and other side of the polarity favors uh, stem like determinants. So in this unpolarized conditions where the stem like mutations are uh, where the tumors is uh, tumors favors this stem like uh, uh, determinants or Unpolarized pro proliferative factors. This stem like determinants has the proliferating factors or it has the characteristics that will help the cells to proliferate faster. So if the cells move in this uh, in this uh, this uh, unpolarized factors, if cells proceed in this uh, path, 
then it will cause this pro proliferative symmetric division uh, since this stem like determinants has the pro proliferative characteristics it will lead to the uh, pro proliferative symmetric divisions and because of the overcrowdedness this will uh, cause it will cause this uh, it will uh, leads to this oncogenic mutations and that will cause this faster, faster tumor initiation and these things are observed in the prostate and glioma the, the difference between uh, the uh, difference between uh, this stage this uh, this conditions and the first conditions uh, that we observed in the panel a is that in this case the uh, stem like determinants are uh, present so this stem like determinants the stem like determinants uh, usually are not been affected uh, by this epithelial homeostasis rescue and uh, if the cell is proceed towards this uh, differentiating factors that is unpolarized differentiating factors then it will lead to the differentiations of the cells and since the cells at this time does not have the uh, proliferative characteristics it will uh, differentiate it will uh, divide or cell will grow at a uh, slower pace and that will cause this delayed tumor initiation and this times this kind of conditions are observed in lung and blood next uh, we have discussed the next uh, part is about this polarized cell faith so in this case both the conditions are there that is stem like determinant and differentiating factors are there and this will lead to the asymmetric different asymmetric division and since uh, in this case uh, what will happen uh, in most of the times is that the differentiating factors will take over the stem like factors uh, and because of that the, there is an increase in the amount of differentiating uh, uh, cells and that will uh, cause this late tumor initiations so these are just the general overview how the cell polarity can uh, cause the cancer initiation and how it will uh, has a role how it has a role towards the delayed or faster tumor uh, progression so i hope you got a basic idea about uh, this topic and if you need to understand more about the cell polarities and its relation with the cancer you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time